The screen team is back, and it's brought to you by Whitworth Gift Chest Jewelers. You still have a few days to get that loved one something very, very special, and you'll find a lot of special stuff at Whitworth Gift Chest Jewelers, where Walmart is next door to us. 33 Productions, supporting a lot of great causes here in Popper Bluff and beyond. Uh, some of the Popper Bluff organizations include Ofra, the Boys and Girls Club, UCAN, and the Bread Shed. And I know that 33 has made some nice uh, contributions to uh, those organizations just recently, right, Sabrina? That is correct. And um, I'm very proud to work for a company that can make contributions like these. Uh, we made a $10,000 contribution to Ofra uh, to help wrap up their budgeting and uh, uh, get get some things taken care of for them and the, the things that they want to do for the kids in our community. Nice. And then we also made a $5,000 contribution to the Boys and Girls Club to get them set up and hope that they can reach their 500 kids a day. That's great, man. We thank uh, Ben Atkins and uh, Monica Birdsong and the entire uh, staff of uh, 33 Productions for that. That's very cool. Also, Popper Bluff Drywall. They do interior and exterior finishing, commercial and residential 714-3127, Popper Block Drywall, We Rock. Um, our next film is Dreamer. This movie came out in 2005, and this movie is uh, inspired by a true story. It stars Kurt Russell, Dakota Fanning, and the very beautiful, talented Elizabeth Shue, who wasn't in this movie nearly enough. Um, <laughs> Dreamer, uh, Laura, do you like it? I like this movie because it's sweet. The little girl, Dakota Fanning, I love her. She's, I mean, especially in her kid roles mm-hmm. when she's little. Um, she just puts so much feeling and emotion into her acting. And, like, there's some scenes in this movie where she's just she's just broken because she loses her horse. And she just, her emotion for such a young actress to be able to convey such powerful emotion on screen, it's just... It made me cry. Yeah. I mean, just watching her with her dad. And um, the movie is, you know, a little girl falls in love with the horse. She, she, But she wants to spend time with her dad. And her dad's kind of impatient because he's got bills and they're losing the, the farm and all this these things. He's and, got a heavy load, for sure. Yeah, and all she wants is to spend time with him. And they end up bonding over this horse. And uh, who, horse, by, who, by the way, broke its leg, right? Yeah. It it goes down on the track. She breaks her leg, and they buy it to keep her from being Put down. killed. And um, she, uh, they heal the horse, and the horse comes back, and they decide they're going to try to race her. So the little girl enters her in the biggest race that she can put her in. Yeah. And uh, the horse's name is Soñador, which in Spanish means dreamer. And uh, just the whole movie just makes you smile. Like at the end, when during the last part of the movie, the horse is racing. And just watching this little girl's face as she's watching her horse race, like it makes me smile. Like it when <laughs> I mean, it's the happiest part of the movie, and I'm like bawling. I'm like, oh, it's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's I I just I love it because it just it's an uplifting type movie. It just yeah. makes you feel good. It's good for kids. Too. Uh, Laura, I agree with you 100. percent Out of all the movies you picked uh, this go around, I was like, this is I don't I don't want to see this movie. Like, for some reason, I don't like watching horse movies. I don't know what it is, but I was like, oh, Dreamer is going to be so weak and blah, blah. And it wasn't, man. It was, you know, it's your typical Disney feel-good kind of movie, but uh, it was it was definitely more than that. I agree with you. Dakota Fanning was incredible in her performance. Um, with that particular role, I was expecting over cutesy, mm-hmm. and it wasn't like that. Mm-hmm. She was playing a very grown-up type of emotions for a little girl. Mm-hmm. And I thought she did a fantastic job doing that. The only criticism I would give this movie is the movie's called Dreamer, inspired by a true story. And there's only a little bit of the movie that's actually true. True. <laughs> and the true part is, if you watch the movie, they're talking about uh, Sonia Dor and how she has a, a broken leg or whatever. And Kurt Russell... He says, oh, she's got the same kind of uh, injury that... Uh, Spiral fraction to the cannon bone. That Mariah Storm had, or whatever. And Mariah Storm is actually the horse that this movie is is based on. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's only like a few similarities with the, you know... It's the only reference to the truth behind the story of yes. the inspiration gotcha. of yes. this movie. But, uh, <laughs> you know, other than that, it's, it's a wonderful film. It's uh, greatly acted and... Uh, Chris Christopherson's uh, in this film. He does uh, a good uh, Grampy or Poppy or whoever he's Pops, supposed to be. Pop uh, but uh, yeah, very good film. Sabrina? Uh, everything you guys said, yeah. 
I, I liked the movie and, and it didn't have any of those moments where it was just overwhelmingly sad or overwhelmingly, uh, you know, terrifying or anything like that. And, and when you get into movies with animals that are about animals, you're just, oh, what are the, what's going to happen? You know, you're just expecting, expecting something tragic. And this is nothing tragic. And and it's good because um, you still get some of the intensity of the drama behind the worry side of any kind of movie that you need because you got to have the downside. But then you also get this really great and and easily suspended uplifting portion. And right. and it's not like a huge vast roller coaster of emotions. It's just a nice steady, a little swell here and there. Mm-hmm. And um, it's safe for kids of all ages and. You could, I mean, I, I would honestly say this would be a really great movie to have playing when you have the entire family over for dinner for the holidays. And you've got something this safe and this enjoyable and mm-hmm. you got some good stuff. It's got everything in it that, that, you know, anybody of any age could find something to appreciate. Mm-hmm. Um, fast horses and, and little kids and, and famous people and um, just, it's a really good movie. Yeah, one of my favorite scenes is when uh, the jockey is trying to trying to lose weights or whatever, <laughs> and they've got a box of uh, Krispy Kremes or whatever, and he's like, "Oh, yeah, I want some Krispy Kremes," and they're all chowing down on, it and they give him like a carrot or something like that. An orange, yeah. An orange, oh, I yeah. dropped one in the dirt. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> he hands him an orange, and he says, "What's this?" He's like, "It's an orange. It looks like a golf ball." <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do appreciate the um, the tenderness between. Dakota Fanning's character and the horse and uh, the horse is beautiful Uh, but you know you don't get too much of either one of them and that's always I agree you gotta worry about that sometimes but I like I like where dad says you know what here sign this document you own the horse yeah and then he walks out and says okay guys you work for her yeah that's pretty cool. I love the between her and her dad like the part my favorite part in the whole movie is where he goes to her school and for her parent teacher conference or teachers meeting or whatever and he has to read a story that she wrote and she wrote it about him, him. <laughs> and it's very touching so no it got his attention yeah absolutely definitely did it's called dreamer inspired by a true story you can find it on dvd coming up next it's one of the hottest movies out right now it's called the hobbits the battle of five armies we'll review it next on today's talk nine thirty kwoc